Welcome to this new video. In this one, what we are going to do is to basically open the control panel of Ultrawise U20 and see what is inside of it because not most of the people do that when you are reviewing a 3D printer and sometimes you want to see what is really inside this thing. So that is it safe or not? Is, are there enough MOSFETs or not? So we will answer these questions when we are looking inside this thing. There are a couple fasteners that we need to unscrew so I'm going to detach them first three on this side and other three on this side after you detach them what you need to do is to also detach these four screws in here because this thing is actually the bottom plate itself okay after we do this what we need to do is raise it and open it. when we first open it let's follow the power cord so this is the section where we give the power and everything is as you can see detachable and attachable i like this system they isolate these region very nicely everything looks very organized inside this thing there is on off button connections in here the entire thing that comes from the wall connects to this power supply where it drops the voltage to 24 volts and deliver them from these two cables this 24 volts came into our main board which is this one so this motherboard is the thing that controls our entire 3d printer you can see these stepper drivers four of them in here located and each of them has their own heat sink attached to them and th this section over here is the xyz limit switches and extruder limit switch which is flamant detection and also we have these two more connections where it goes the thermistor of extruder and heated bed in this region we have the motor connections four of them right here this big thing is the heat sink that is attached to our mosfet driver and this is the microcontroller of our 3d printer and this entry entire thing down here is our LCD screen. I believe they could have put a better LCD screen by saying better they could have put a bigger LCD screen but again I think they wanted to decrease the price by lowering the size of the screen too. All the cables are well organized these limit switches motor controllers and they all output from this hole right over here connect into our 3d printer with these plugs and sockets. As you can see this is well uh, organized controller box I believe they could have shrink the size of it but for for the ventilation purposes, this is this is a good size. Okay guys, this is the end of what is inside the controller box video for Alphawise U20. If you have any questions and comments, put them down below and see you guys in the next video. Oh, I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video. Also, before I forget, your 3D printer has a fuse located in here nearby the on-off button. So if it doesn't work at all, your fuse might be blown off too.